Are you hot? Are you just real? That sounded bad. It's like you were saying, are you hot and ready to mingle? <laughs> There's singles in your area. Just click this link and, you know, mind our fees. Okay. Is the heat getting you down? Is it just so hot outside that when you're working, you just need something cool and refreshing to drink? And maybe with a little bit of a dog residue inside of it. Well, if so, stay tuned. This is for you. Still going for the infomercial? Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of. Bourbon and booze, it's cocktail time. It just seems like it's a long time since we've got a good cocktail. It's been a long time since we've been a cocktail too. True. Um, you know, when life gets you, you just gotta. What is it? Lemons and. I don't know. When life gives you lemons, yeah. Make lemonade. Like, hey, lemonade. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Life has gotten us pretty hard um, lately. So um, we're glad to be back. and. We're going to create something that I feel is very unusual and most people don't like, or not like, but most people don't know about, and that's a Brazilian lemonade that has no lemons in it. So, we're not uh, sure what it's called then, or we're not. And we saw the recipe on. We've had it several times. We just a YouTube video yeah. and then made it ourselves. Now we're making it with alcohol. Alcohol? We've, we've had this several times and liked it, but we've never uh, spiked it. And so we're going to make three different drinks here and spike it um, for a cool, refreshing drink. And it is very simple. It's only three ingredients. Is that your alcohol? It's limes, ice, and uh, a sweetener. A uh, sweetener milk. Eagle brain is water. Well, water. Is water really an ingredient? It's the most important ingredient. Okay. Then it'd be just like very dry apples. Yeah. So what you do is apparently you are going to take a whole bunch of lemons, okay, limes. You take a whole bunch of limes, <laughs> and um, I guess do you have to cut them? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, okay. Three, so you're just going to quarter them or half them and put them into a blender. So while Cody's doing that, we'll do that. Okay, after a long and arduous uh, bit, Cody's finally got almost all of these done. Looks like he just cut his finger. So, a little blood might be in there. Um, I gotta wash my hands, so we're not yeah. starting here. So, pro tip you should probably use gloves. Or cut on a cutting board. Or cut on a cutting board, which we have a cutting board on. We just got started cutting. I thought you'd throw them in a hole. So that is a good um, thing. You're, you're throwing in everything. The rind, yeah. you wash them really good, but you're throwing in the rind and the whole work. So Cody's going to go ahead and wash his hands real quick, and we'll be right back. Uh, All right, so Cody had cut himself, and he bled to death. And so now it's just me, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. No, it's all it's just getting into my cold. So how much water are you at? Just like halfway? You top it. Oh, you top it? Okay. Okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we'll it goes. We're doing this from memory, so this could go very poorly. Yeah. And so we have different settings, and he is going to do just a pulse. Okay. So you wanna <clears throat> you wanna pulse it until you get it fairly mixed up, cut up, everything. I still see a bunch of rinds there. But yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to strain it. So you want to strain it and um, go all the hard. Okay. 
Okay, so now that it's all filtered, he's going to put it back. He did make a huge mess here. And this is nothing the guts of Jason Lee's Multi-filming, but now I'm gonna have to rinse it so it doesn't show up. Anymore. You should go lemony fresh, limey fresh. And I eat some lemon. Do you need any more water? I don't know. Possibly not. Let's set the water aside. Some of you may notice that I have a drink here because this was taking a long time for me to cut, so I have to pour myself a drink. Get these out of the way. All right, once you have that fresh lime um, blend, it's almost like a soup. It's not quite thick, but it's almost like a soup. <clears throat> Add one can of Eagle Rare condensed milk, right? Eagle Rare. Did I say Eagle Rare? Yeah. Add a bottle of Eagle Rare. No, and probably not the whole can, just some. Okay. We'll do it to taste. They make little cans, too. Yeah, but they're never as cost effective unless you. Canned Eagle Rare. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your cater sticker should be for the next Eagle Rare. Yeah. It's an Eagle Brand sticker. We should. Alright, so he's put about maybe. Three fifths or two fifths. It's gonna go about half. That's to give it some nice sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Gonna add a little ice. Remember, what, remember the days of those L mics? She wants hers with gin. This is the 10 Green Street Gin. It's a um, gin that we picked up in uh, England. I think in York, England, actually. No, Cambridge. I'm sorry. Cambridge Distillery. And this is one of her favorite uh, gins. Uh, unfortunately, um, she's almost out. But she's going to spike it with the 10 Street Gin. <clears throat> Cody's going to spike his with good old Evan Williams 100 Bottled and Bond, which I think is a wise choice of bourbon. Um, you can also do rum. I was should taste this uh, first. He's a little bit more sweet. Oh, um, don't worry about the backwash. Um, it's got lime in there. It's an antiviral. Plus, we're putting alcohol in there. So he's got uh, a. <clears throat> so like a sweet the bottle they bought right now, and uh, a good rum would work. We chose um, Appleton um, to do it. But then at the last minute, we switched out. Um, I would not do uh, Brazilian rum, like Chicaca uh, or what people call Brazilian rum. It's not really. Um, it's just too much of a funky uh, flavor for it. And then for me, go ahead. Uh, you know all can. The whole can to a four, and then the rest is for me to eat out of later. Bad idea. So, Cody, about a whole can. Cody did a whole can. He 
do want to do it to taste, it might be too sweet for some people. Well, we found that we like it on the sweeter side yeah. anyways. So to reiterate, 10th Street Gin, Evan Wyans, and I've chosen JT Melnick's or 80 Proof. Um, it's a rice whiskey, and I really love it. It's one of my favorite whiskeys in know. And we're going to so give those uh, a good try. Okay. I think we put too many liners in there. And you can never have too many liners. There's a potential that we essentially doubled all the ingredients except for the ice and the water. And so we could have made well, a double batch of... Yeah, we could easily just take the remaining portion and add more ice and water into it. There's a very strong potential that could have been a there. I'll be the judge of that. All right. Yeah, a little bit bitter. Too much lime. No, I think the sweetness is perfect. Go ahead and wind it there. And what we'll do is we'll um, add more water. Or see what other people want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Taste it. All right, so you're doing the Evan Williams. I'm just going to do a shot, um, the one, one ounce pour. You're going to want to do it to taste. Um, you might want a heavy. But remember, it's been a very hot day, and you've been working outside, and you're just um, you want something cool and refreshing, but with a little bit of bite or evening pour. So don't go over, because it is a very sweet drink. Also very limey, so if you're yeah, citrus. It's a very sweet drink, so you want to make sure that you don't overdo it. Oh, that's tasty. The bourbon or the whiskey. The rye. Well, this is whiskey. No, it's rice whiskey. No, oh, rice. So the whiskey doesn't actually change the flavor much, but it gives it a little bit more um, fullness to it. And um, you can taste the rice whiskey in there. But again, I think that we've decided that there's too much lemon. Lime. That's what's in this too much lime. That's you should have a counter how many times you yeah. say lime or lemon. Well, I mean. Now, we're doing this, you know, basically with a lot of interruptions and stuff, but this doesn't really take you that long. No, especially if you have a cutting board. Yeah. And you're not making it big batch for making a big batch to share the base stuff mm -hmm. without the alcohol in it. Yeah, we do a uh, full ounce and or two ounce pour. And it's tasty. Very tasty. And I'm going to have to let my friends in uh, JT Melnick know because they're down in Hotsville, here in uh, Louisiana. Hope they get up there now. I almost get it Almondy flavor. Yeah, it's only a sort of aroma. Yeah, yours has a more. We'll see what the rye does. Yours has a more almond, nutty aroma to it. Yeah, yours is just smoother. Yeah. Mine added, which is why I wanted to do the bourbon, sure. added a little bourbony, subtle bourbony note, yeah. but like an odd bourbony note. Yours just muted it down and smoothed it out. Again, with a different environment of alcohol, I have a feeling that James going to be the winner. I, no, I have a feeling that, well, out of this set, yeah, I have a feeling that tequila is probably going to be the winner. Might be um, tequila or, or a good rum. Yeah. Mm. Not a little bit of uh, aroma change, but not much. It would definitely be um, a little bit more floral to the flavor. Yeah, I think 
out of this one, the, the gin one out. Yeah, I kind of like this one the best. That one's good. That's one's good, too. That one's good. That one tastes really good. It's just the, the nuttiness of the aroma. The nuttiness of the bourbon popped out. It popped yeah. out more. Yeah. Even though. After sitting for a minute, it popped oh, out yeah. more than those. Huh, that's weird. I don't know. All it's right, good. so... Go ahead and uh, leave comments. What would you add? You know, you have rum. You could add Ch uh, Chikaka. Um, I hope I say that. No, absolutely not. You could add a uh, Chikaka or a Brazilian style rum. You could add just a spice rum or whatever. No, no, no. You could add um, any of those kind of li liquors, not any aperitifs. I don't think so. Oh, except for with one exception. Um, you can add those. And tell us what you think um, would be uh, your favorite. I'm going to add one uh, recording just a sec on the air. But and tell us what your favorite bourbon, whiskey, gin, rum, or whatever that you put in it. Have you made this before? Are there variation? We kind of um, ad hoc the recipe um, because normally we just do it to taste. But there are very specific recipes out there, I'm sure. So you can tell us what your favorite recipe is. Um, but really, it's a three ingredient, limes, eagle brand, and water. And then you're just going to uh, add some ice and mix it up. Uh, tell us, do you do you strain the green stuff out or not? Uh, don't yeah, I'm not chewing. No, you yeah. strain it out. Did you see how much came out? Yeah. So we're going to do oh. one uh, different. This is uh, my wife's glass. Go ahead and pour that in. And I think that oh, let me see this. by the way, the limoncello you took home with me froze. It froze. It sure did. Too much water. I made fresh limoncello, but we're going to try some orange first from uh, Acre or a limoncello. Orange cello. Yeah, it's orange cello. So just add a, um, a shot or two. Lemon cello would be delightful. Um, orange cello. That is really good to know that our I made fresh lemon juice, our fresh lemon cello the other day, and it's frozen. So too much water. Oh, that's like an orange Julius almost. That is good. Oh, just so you know, we did try the method of doing the whole way of just using oranges instead of limes. It didn't turn out long. Oh, making an orange? Yeah, like just blending oranges. Okay. Like with the limes. It didn't turn out long. Yeah, I would. Definitely good. All right, just let us know. Make sure you leave those comments below. And remember to hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Um, it's been a while since we've been back on the uh, air. Um, the air, like we're live. It's been a while since we've made videos, but we're going to um, make a concerted effort to do more. In fact, I'm going to film at least one, if not two, right after this uh, cleanup that Cody does. That's all on me, buddy. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. Uh, cheers.